then. We've always known that Gino was destined for greatness. His charming, witty and, of course, an incredible chef. So it was inevitable that one day Hollywood would come knocking. Yeah, well, he's taken a break from the kitchen to uh, join the cast of Disney's newest animated film release, Luca. Um, let's take a look. Well, as they say, <laughs> there are no small parts, only small actors. And the movie star himself joins us now. I hope they're not talking now. to me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can Gino. hear them. I can hear the, uh, the Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're talking to you now. You're live hi, on the telly, Gino. Gino. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> Very well. Um, how long did it take you to learn that? Oh, but, uh, what? War. War. Learn what? Your, uh, your, your, your Hollywood role. Oh, but, I mean, I only have a, I only had about a, a very small part in the in the movie, and, and and I was reading them, so I didn't have to learn anything. But let me tell you, it was one of the most difficult things that I've done in my life. I remember when they asked me to do it, I was like, I said, "Are you for real? You want me to do so? That's not the kind of thing that I do." Then I found out that he was a priest. I am actually playing a priest called Eugenio, and I was like. You really have no idea <laughs> what I do. Is it, do Definitely you? not typecast. You are American sure. people. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, so why was it difficult? Because I mean, as, as we're obviously taking the mic a little bit there, it's not a massive part. But why was why was delivering that line difficult? I think it was difficult because I I didn't want to mess it up. So giving my voice to an amazing character and an amazing movie, because Luca is, is just an incredible animation movie. I just didn't want to mess it up. I, did, I, you know, I didn't want to be the one to say, oh, that, that's not a good job done. Um, but you know, apparently it was good and Enrico, the director, was very happy. Um, so we just, uh, so at the, at the end, everything was good. I, I, very happy, very happy. I was also happy because I think Playing the priest, uh, I was thinking very hardly on that. I think he's probably the closest I will ever be to God uh, <laughs> by uh, playing a priest. So I got my chances. Done. Job done. And so, listen, I hear that um, the appearance of the priest was based slightly on you. Is that right? Well, it's, uh, that, that is a great question. Thank you, Holly, because <laughs> it's, it's, uh, when, I, when, I, when I saw the movie, I was thinking, this is a boy that clearly uh, lives underwater and he wants, he, he thinks that there is much more life than just stay underwater. So he wants to discover, uh, so with his friends, he's, he's going above the water and he went to Italy in a place called Cinque Terre, which I've been there many, many times, which is a little bit the story of my life because when I was a little boy, I thought, can I really be in this little town, not Torre de Greco, in Naples? I, I, I wanted to see more. Yeah. So I've related to Luca quite a lot, the fact that from a young age, he, want, he, he knew that there was much more out there. That's, um, that's why I related to him. Mm, it's not nice. necessarily the question that Holly asked you, though, because uh, we know that Luca is, um, Luca is a sea monster, and when sea monsters come out onto the land, they, uh, they, turn, they take human form. And so this is Luca's story of discovering himself, you know, uh, from a sea monster to, to taking human form. But I think Holly, Holly's question was, when you saw the image of the priest that you play, do you think that was based on your face? Oh, if it was placed... Oh, sorry, I, I, I thought you asked me if the, 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 the story of the movie was... Uh, I was related to that. <laughs> OK, uh, I think the face of the priest doesn't look anything like me. <laughs> I mean, he has a huge hooter as a nose. <laughs> and... <laughs> look at him. Look at him. I mean, no, no, it doesn't look like me at all, Ollie. No, well, no. What do you think? What do I... Well, he's not wearing Speedos, whereas I think you <laughs> might be. Are you... There's a very short shorts you're well, wearing, Gino. I mean, I, put the camera back what, along, is, for they, goodness they, sake. Shorts? <laughs> put the I strap back, you, put the strap back. They're not too short. <laughs> OK, fair enough, that is that's better. It's because I'm sitting down. <laughs> it's because I'm sitting down, that's why. <laughs> so, um, we, we haven't seen you for such a long you. time. We've missed you terribly in our studio. Um, have you spent the most of lockdown on, on Sardinia? Yes, I have. First of all, Philip, I miss you, and I miss you, Holly. I mean, it's been far too long. Yeah. But, you know, with all this uh, COVID malarkey, you know, I've decided to, uh, uh, to, to come to Italy. 
spend the time here, I'm writing books, I'm filming for Italian TV, uh, and I'm organizing myself. But very uh, in, uh, in October, I'm coming back, because in September, I need to go to, uh, 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 where I'm going? To Lo Las Vegas. Let's see, I'm going to Las Vegas for a month to do a show in America for the American television, and then I'm back in October. Mm -hmm. And I, you have my words. I will do as many this morning as possible because I told everybody here in my family, I said, I, you know, I just want to see you guys. I miss the audience of this morning. I miss the team and I miss my kitchen. Also, I'm seeing far too many chefs coming in, in and out of this morning, which that really annoys me. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Really annoys me. Nobody's might, asking yeah. permission. They should ask me the permission <laughs> to come into the kitchen. <laughs> Philip, I told you many times, nobody comes into the kitchen unless I say so. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. We, well, we do look forward to having you back, that's for sure. And you, are you doing a show with the family as well? Yes, I'm doing a show uh, 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 for ITV. I'm doing a show called Cooking Up with the Da Campos. So what I'm doing, I'm taking all the family around Italy one by one and then everybody together. So we are going, I'm, we, I, I, I want to show them the real Italy because clearly they, they, they don't have the experience of Italy the way I do. So I thought, you know, what, what a good idea just to take them around. So I'm taking Luciano in Calabria. I'm taking uh, uh, Rocco to Naples. Uh, I'm going to take Jessica, my wife, up the, um, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's the Vesuvius. <laughs> uh, and I don't remember all the others. <laughs> Fair well, Fair that sounds like one to one. Well, give our, lo give our love to Jess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, please do. Thank you. <laughs> Gino, as always, uh, it's dreamy to see you. Disney Plus, the movie, is on Luca and from the, June the 18th. Um, I can't wait to watch it, actually, with the kids and everything. But you take care. Love see you all soon. the family. One second, because I want to give you a kiss. Mwah. See you later. See you, Gino. <laughs> Not weird at all. You hang up first. You hang up first. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>